On April 20th of 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil rig exploded. This tragic event sent more than 200 million gallons of oil spewing into the Gulf of Mexico. Eleven crewmen on board died that day. The livelihoods and financial security of thousands were compromised. Marine life continues to suffer to an extent scientists are still trying to determine, and the region's coastal habitats have been altered for generations to come. In the midst of this event, the million-dollar questions are, how could this have happened, and can we ensure that it never happens again? For months, the nation vigorously debated these questions, until this fall, when they suddenly dropped off the public's radar screen amid the distractions of the midterm election. But today, with the unrest in the Middle East on the rise and gas prices soaring to record levels, it is clear that our nation must begin a serious reassessment of our reliance on foreign oil. And this discussion will undoubtedly bring us right back to the core issues. How do we best manage the resources on our own lands and off of our coasts? Has anything really changed since the Deepwater Horizon explosion? Are we as a nation prepared to adequately regulate this industry? Or in our desperation to obtain cheap fossil fuels, will we experience another deep water? On April 13th, as we approach the one-year anniversary of the explosion, the Marine Affairs Institute at the Roger Williams University School of Law will bring together national experts from all sides of this issue to examine the Deepwater Horizon's legal legacy. Our oil dependence shouldn't be a partisan issue, nor should the way in which we regulate our nation's critical and finite marine resources. Join our discussion on April 13th. Whatever the future may hold, one thing is certain. Without careful examination and action, nothing will change.